Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. I've done a number of videos on YouTube about Windows 8, 8.1, and now I have just installed Windows 8.1 Update. Now, say what you will about the naming and the versioning scheme. This is definitely one that's worth upgrading to. Uh, it'll happen automatically over the next few weeks or a month. Uh, Windows Update just kind of is always going in the background, and it will eventually upgrade your machine. It's a subtle update, but it's definitely, I think, useful. Uh, here's a couple of things that have uh, that have happened. When you first start out on your desktop, the store is going to be pinned on your desktop. So you can now pin full screen Windows Store apps. There's an example right there. I am installing a Solitaire right now from the store. And I'm going to just use the mouse and the keyboard. I'm not using any of the touch features here. I just push the Windows button. Uh, I can take other applications like news and right click on them and this is new I can resize them from a right click uninstall turn off the live tile not only unpin them from start but also pin to taskbar I can also just pick them up and move them around which is a nice improvement it's a lot easier to use the mouse to uh, move things around your start screen now now I right clicked and said pin to taskbar so when I go to my desktop there is the news application. I can click on it. Now it's running. When it starts running, you'll notice that it has a title bar up here, just like you're familiar with, with a minimize and a close, and then a system menu. And that menu is just there for a moment. When I move my mouse to the top of the screen, the title bar appears, and then I can hit minimize, and I'm back to the desktop. So here's two full screen apps that are running. I can switch, of course, to other apps. I can just run Firefox if I feel like it. I can click on news. I can minimize news. I'm back to the desktop. I can go to my store. Now I can click in the corner here in the system menu and say split right. Now that was always possible before. You would grab a hold of the top of the screen, pull down, and then move over to the right with the mouse. But now I can just do that with a click in the corner here. Then at that point, I could right click on news here. Notice that I've just gone up to the corner. I can right click and say replace store if I want to or say insert left and then store appears there. So Windows 8.1 update is a lot easier for keyboard and mouse work uh, in my opinion. Again I can come down to the start menu or the desktop's always right there. Here it's asking me where do I want to put the desktop left or right. I'm finding it easier to go uh, between things like Chrome on the desktop. Here's my mail. Here's news. Here's the store. These are all full screen apps. Here's Chrome. I can have mail up, Chrome up at the same time, switching between them, close mail if I want to, switch back to the desktop. So it definitely feels uh, it feels more integrated. I didn't think I was going to like this. I thought it was going to be a strange hybrid, uh, but it actually seems to work better for me. Another significant change you'll notice up here next to my face, the power button now appears right there. So you just shut down right there. That's a nice touch. I can also search just by clicking. No need to go over to the right hand menu. A couple of subtle changes that I've noticed, if I go here to settings and click on Wi-Fi, you've got view connection settings available now. This was buried and hard to find before. I can click on that and now I can see information about my connections, Manage known networks didn't exist before. I can actually go and see all of my saved Wi-Fi networks, which I uh, could not easily find before with Windows 8.1. You can right-click on the taskbar and say Properties, and there's a number of new features here. I can turn on or turn off Show Windows Store Apps on the taskbar if you do not like that change. But I can go here to Navigation, and there's a bunch of choices, including when I sign in, go to the desktop instead of start. So this basically makes the original uh, desktop, the Windows desktop, your default kind of home. You can set that if you want to. I also choose to show my desktop background on start. So you'll see this background here of the houses. When I click here, it's not so jarring because the houses are still in the background and then I can just click to go back. If you are a user of a lot of desktop applications, you might prefer that those apps be listed first when you're sorting by category. When a new application gets installed, it will say one new application, then you can click here and you'll see the apps really highlighted as new applications. 
you can then right click on them and either pin them to the start or the taskbar. I can click on this text here that says earlier this week and find apps that I may have installed last month. I can look at all my apps by name and again click on these letters and switch to them with this alphabet picker. One final note that's worth pointing out is that there have been significant changes in IE11. This is an updated version of IE11 and while it is still a little confusing that you might end up with a desktop browser, here's IE on the desktop looking at my website and then here's full screen IE. This is the touch friendly IE but this now includes the option to have your tabs always shown so I could go and visit Hanselman, hit plus, type in uh, Microsoft.com, hit plus, type in Google.com, and I can switch between those tabs easily. Come down here to the options, and then if I want to, turn those off so that the tabs are not seen anymore. One cool feature that's being called out more significantly in the user interface is the read mode. Uh, when you're inside a full screen IE, if I'm looking at an article like I am here, there's this button here that says read. If I switch to reading view, I get a nice distraction free and ad free touch friendly view of that same article. It's much like readability or read it later or Instapaper. I can right click, open tabs in new windows, and generally move around this touch friendly browser more easily than before. Switch back to the desktop. Windows has automatically changed my desktop. I have it set to change every 30 minutes. You'll see here I've still got settings, weather, news, and store. And I can right click on those, unpin them, or choose to close them if I want. So definitely an update you want to pick up, Windows 8.1 Update 1. Uh, hopefully even cooler stuff will be coming in some future Update 2. If you are a keyboard and mouse user, you are going to enjoy uh, Windows a lot more with this update. Thank you very much and check out the rest of my YouTube channel. There's lots of great tips on hotkeys and moving around Windows efficiently.